cooking the breakfast, but paying the fee for them to search for the job. For the lunch, they can have. Because they cannot find jobs or what? They find cash job. Just go to the ready for food. So why buy sizey so? Because they can get cash every day, or they cannot survive. They cannot have food. So they cannot find good jobs. Then they cannot pay the rent, and then the vicious circle is there. So say that we get them some autobus, so they can go outside to have, it. and then give them some food coupon, so they can go to the fast food shop to have their lunch. So for the first month after that, then they can get an average pay. Then they can go back to their normal life. So that's a long story, but it's quite successful. New service, new idea. We say it's a short-term intervention because they just drop off from their home to the uh, streets just a few months. They have high motivation to change. So we're quite successful to lower that. So at that time, about 2004, I said, okay, I do a good job. I do the advisory for this kind of new service. I said, okay, that's fine. I move. I move to other working world. I said, homeless people should be a full stop for me. But afterward, after two old, why did it look so old this kind? Because for women it's 
but it's not really safe for them to sleep on the streets, okay? But you find some of them, most of them are drug addicts. Uh, they, they, they will, with their male partners, live together on the streets. And some of them are uh, mentally illness. This is the old day. But now, we find that some are families. So they are poor families, they cannot afford the rent. So the whole family, include the uh, wife and also the children, some of them female, uh, is being funded on the street. And it is also quite hard for the social worker to rehouse them because most of the hostels are men hostels, okay? So one thing of the NGOs now is through is the, uh, is the Christian concern for the homeless. They really want to make some is a female hostel and also for the family. So they do a social housing project for them. So we'll, we'll finally think about that. About the age, most of them is about nearly retired, 55 to 64. And then for very young, it's not too much uh, under the 35 age. 40% uh, 40, 40 of them is uh, education is lower than the uh, primary. But still there is some is three for five percent is tertiary and over and three percent of them is high secondary. So they are not really different from the whole population in Hong Kong. And we always run some homeless people is quite highly educated. You don't think so? Uh, we find some is from graduate from Canada and then uh, originally, uh, he worked as a manager in a fast food shop in, in, in Swamia. Uh, where, but when we find him, he become one of the homeless people, try to just sit on the canteen when someone lives, just sit there and eat their leftover food. So we find them, what is the problem of him? Because he is a mental illness patient. And one day, he tried to frighten her mother and father with a life. So she's a threat to her mother and her father, uh, his father just let him go out and, and don't go back to her home. So become homeless. So the problem of homeless and some of them are mental illness, okay? So they are highly educated. We also find some is uh, is a very high profile, high pay, white collar management work, but they do gambling. They just try to borrow much money in my car, but they lose. So they come back, they cannot go back to the home because they, they are afraid the shark loan will come here to find them. So we find them on the streets. So there's quite a lot of different kinds of people, not just the uh, low income, low education background. Uh, and some of them already hit is uh, uh, separated and divorced, most of them, and then they're single. Uh, there's quite a lot of them is not, uh, not Chinese origin. Uh, we don't go to that. Okay, this is a one of a good observation. It's about how long have they uh, lived on the streets. So the median is eight years, and the average is uh, five point one. So about half of them has already on the streets for ten to twenty years. So it's quite long. But for us, I say in two thousand, about one third one third of that population is under three months. So they are quite short term homeless in 2000. But in 2005, it's now all of these kind of short term people become long term. It's quite a lot. So this is the thickness. Strange. Something is missing. Also, okay, we just take it as a 2015. It's the biggest problem. Two one three. We also do it. So uh, the median uh, of years is rising from three point nine to five point one, and also this kind of uh, month of median durations from thirty to ninety six.
So it's quite a lot. So now, homeless is not a short-term problem. Homeless is now turned to a quite longer duration, five years, okay? Median, so half of the people longer than that and half of the people is shorter than that. So when I say the problem is not just economic, it's the homeless people and the street savers, they do not have a co and co adequate housing, they do not have that home setting, they do not have a family relation with them for quite a long time. So this makes them the mental illness, it makes them very isolated, it makes them the social network become less and less again. So when we talk about homeless, I would say this is not just the problem of a shelter. It is a problem of a sense of home. Can they belong to somewhere? Can they belong to some things? Can they go back? It's not a threat, it's not a bad. Can they go back to a home? So I say what I say, homelessness. They go to their threats, but they cannot find their home. We may not create family of them, but can we create a sense of home? Home may be feeling secure, feeling that you belong to something, feeling you become connected to something. When I think that the homeless is not just a shelter, we need to address to the problem of the homelessness. When we say something like that, we try to go there. So when we go to the last accommodation type, what they think is that the uh, it's not bad, but you see the thickness of the square face is about the uh, billions of one hundred fat, and about the brands is about one thousand and seven hundred, and uh, rent to income ratios is about thirty percent. It seems it's not too high, but they will say that. For this kind of 1,700, it's almost the maximum figure of allowance that you can get from the CSSA, you know. So many of them do get the money from the CSSA. But now, if you go to this kind of petition room, how far? How much? Have, have you have you go to some circle and find that? And we'll see how long the video will go. But you go to that. If you graduate, you want to live independently, not live in your father and mother's home. Yeah, some of our, my RA do we try this. They think that because I, I, I'm secure that I get an RA job, I, 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 want, I don't want to go back to Tinsu Yuan, okay, I, I want to live in the, the, the urban side. How much do they pay for a one? 120 square feet at this room in, in say, uh, Prince Edward, Haiti, Bang Yi Chang, Hong Kong, Yao Chi Tong. It's a 4,000. Oh, it's all up by one dollar. It's 7,000. 7,000 for Haiti, 120 feet. In some so called lower rank, so you go to now is the most popular one. It's about basat subject, 80 to 90 square feet. So it is for one or two person. Two person, okay? It must cost you now over four thousand. So in two or three years time there is just two thousand something and three thousand. But now the entry level is four thousand and four thousand and something. So this is really quite high. So this is the last rent they pay. What do I mean? Because they pay in quite a lower rent. If they need to now pay three thousand and four thousand, they work just for a eight thousand to nine thousand pay a monthly pay. This is their own words. It is not worth to live in this kind of condition housing. So you have a sector. You give five thousand to them, and, and you go to the McDonald's to sleep again. Why? Why you need to do so? You just put some belongings to, to other 
friends, and then you don't have much remorse. You just sleep on the park, sleep on the corridor, and things like that. But you can save this kind of three thousand, four thousand. So it's for your food, for your transportation, and go back. And many of them, we are another thought. We can just check about what third of them maybe originally had a family. And, and many of them, you will have some home in some Chan or Chin Soi Wai. So, what is the most uh, important uh, reasons for they to move is the, is the rent is too high. It is not affordable. 42% of them link this question. Uh, okay, uh, it's not all the environment problem that make them to move because they, if this is poor condition, they still want to rent it, but they don't affordable and, and it's too high for them. Uh, so how they can, what is the affordable rent when they think? They, they, can, they own, can only affordable to about 2000 and 2200 something. So it is a little bit much more than the median, okay? So if now, if the rent level, is rising too high, it's over that step